What's up, family, and welcome back to Manifest Faith. My name is Brianna, and here we talk about all things God. And if you are new, welcome. I am so glad to have you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I put out videos every Friday and you don't want to miss out on the next one. All right, so today I was originally going to be talking about why we should put God first, which we still need to be doing. However, all week long, my spirit was like, mm, we need to go back to the basics and teach who God is. So it's important to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. So here we go. I'm going to be talking about who God is, and I'm going to be taking it from a standpoint of a baby Christian, um, someone who is brand new to the faith and just breaking it down very simple. You know, when I was a baby Christian, some people would be like Elohim and omnipresent and, you know, using all the correct terms for who God is. However, I would be super confused. And I'll be like, hello, who? So <laughs> I'm just going to be taking it from the standpoint of brand new to the faith. This is the truth of who God is. And we're just going to take it from there. And this is actually a series that I think I want to dive into. Um, next week, I plan on talking about the Trinity and breaking that down into a more tangible and understandable way. All right, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. So who is God? God is the creator of everything. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It's important to understand this truth because this truth specifically allows us to answer a lot of life's questions. Um, like why are there mosquitoes? <laughs> Anyone else? No? Okay. But seriously, it does help us to have a better understanding of why things operate the way they operate. It's because God created it. And when you have that truth, it's very easy to not overthink things because it is what it is. And I take comfort in that because I know that God is good, which is another thing. He's not going to, you know, make something that has no purpose. He's not going to put something in action that is going to end up harming us. You know, God is just. And so everything that we go through, even if it's bad, it's for our good. So we might have to go through what's called a trial. And that's when we walk through a valley, like bad things, um, you know, sickness, death, um, just things that, you know, we wouldn't necessarily choose. God may put us in those situations to help us grow into the person that he has created us to be. So we can understand that when those things happen, we can trust that God is working all things out for our good because he is a good God. Another piece of our foundation is that God is love. Now, I know that might be something you have heard over and over and over again, and you're like, okay, God is love, whoop de doo and me personally, I thought of like, <laughs> me personally, I thought of like hippies and, you know, the, I don't know why, the 70s popped up and I was all like, yeah, man, love. I don't know, but it's, <laughs> it's way, way more than that. What love means, it's like the agape love. It's a sacrificial love, which means that no matter what happens, when you are saved and you're in God's hand, there's nothing in heaven or on earth that can separate you from the love of Christ. And even when we make mistakes, when we repent and turn from those mistakes, God forgives us. And I don't know about you, but that's really hard to find here on earth. So, I was super duper excited and grateful for that. And you know, sometimes it takes more knowledge about who God is to fully adopt that truth because our brain tends to think, well, I've done so many bad things and 
I was a horrible person and ooh, ooh, I made so many mistakes, bro, personally. So that one can be a little bit harder to grasp completely, but the more that you grow in your knowledge of God, the more that you can understand how much he loves and adores you. And I wish I could share that feeling. Like I wish I could just give it to you and let you experience it for yourself um, in this exact moment. But it is perfect and wonderful and it's everything that you have been searching for. I promise, I promise. It's everything that you have been searching for and asking for and looking in the wrong places for. It's in God. Another one of my favorite truths about God is that he is omnipresent. Now this one is a big word. <laughs> It is, but what that means is that he is everywhere at the same time, which I love. I love all of it, but I love this one because I used to struggle with loneliness. And even when I was in a crowded room, you know, of people that loved me and knew me, I still struggled with loneliness. And I'm like, why? Why am I sad and lonely? And that's because I was still empty at that time. However, because God is omnipresent, which means he can be everywhere at the same time, I know that I'm never alone and that he is always with me. No matter where I go, he is literally with me, always. And it is awesome. It is awesome. And it's like taking a best friend everywhere. But it's better than that because he doesn't get on your nerves. <laughs> truth um so god is perfect and wonderful and i love the fact that he is always with me and always with you god is powerful and this one man this it's all wonderful i might say that like 80 more times in this video but it is all wonderful and i love it but god is all powerful which means he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all things that we can hope for. So what that means is that if you have a desire, um, a dream or a passion to do good in expanding the kingdom of God and whatever that may look like, God reveals that to us as his children. But what that means is that you can trust God to bring that to as long as it's in his will and it's for the expansion of kingdom, he can do it. We have nothing to worry about at all. Speaking to myself. So he's all powerful. God is a gentle spirit. He is the sweetest, sweetest, like sweetest person ever. And when you get God snuggles, I call them God snuggles. It's when you feel the presence of God and you're able to abide in that and rest in that. It is so peaceful. Like God is peace and gentle and just so gentle. I don't know how to put that in a better way. It's like, it's like when you're holding a baby and you know, you're not gonna be like shaking the baby or real loud with the baby or, you know, rough with the baby, you're gonna be gentle and you're gonna be kind and loving and you're gonna just snuggle that baby. That's how God is with us all the time. It's awesome. <laughs> it's so awesome. <sighs> he is a rock that you are able to build your life on and that's not gonna fail. You know, a lot of the time we tend to try and find something that can hold us steady and that can keep us stable and it fails. That's because it's not our source. It's not our creator, but God is our creator and our source and we can trust in him and rest on him that he's got us. God is a loving father. He has been with you since before the beginning of time. And he knows what he has planned for you. He knows what is best for you. And he is always going to be with you to make sure that 
you make it to the end. He knows the beginning from the end, so we can rest in him. God is a wonderful counselor and he is able to live on the inside of us to help us with our everyday walks. And he is with you so that you know without a shadow of a doubt, you will never be alone. You literally always have God with you. And that is through the Holy Spirit. God is a loving son that came down, removed his power, took our sins on him, and died on the cross for us so that we can be set free and so that we can have a relationship with God the Father. And now we don't have to live in death anymore. And who the Son sets free is free indeed. And those three parts that I just mentioned, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, those are the Trinity. And we're gonna dive into that next week and learn more about the Trinity and how they operate in our daily lives and help you to understand the Trinity better. All right, well, that's all I have for you, family. Like I said, I just wanted to keep it super simple and super digestible um, for my brothers and sisters that are new to the faith. I am so thankful to have you here as a part of our family. And if you have questions or you need prayer for anything, you can let me know. Also, I have opened up my women's coaching program for, for Christian women who are wanting to figure out their purpose and dedicated to doing what it takes to figure out their purpose. You can learn more about that in the link below. I'll leave it in the description, but I am super excited about it. And there's a huge surprise for anyone that sets up a call. God is doing a thing, okay? He doing a thing. It's awesome, okay? So make sure you don't miss out. Go ahead and click the link below. And then also you can follow me on my Instagram at manifest underscore faith and we can connect more there. That's all I've got for you, family. I love you. I love you. And I will see you next week. Bye.